Folks, I'm going to be over at the Paul Bunyan Show, Guernsey County Fairgrounds, October the 2nd, Friday, going on 1 o'clock. I just went back to the car and had me a sandwich. I'm going to try this again. And we're the horse track in the green stand here. I brought over, I had a Dagwood sandwich with water and pop, and uh, I got a big pickle. Everything. McCuller, he's, he's got a pop up like a Palomino called a North Star. Checking out some of the campers back here. I was filming, and I just came back to the car. Uh, it's pretty grouchy, and went ahead and erased all my tapes. There's a bunch of frowning Amish people in here. And so I, I complain enough. And so anyway, they parked me clear back in the extreme corner back there. So I walked back to the car and moved it up here. So this guy has a, a trailer converted. There's three doors on the side even. There's the cargo trailer. A momentum with slides on both sides. There was one back, that's where I want, almost a, it's quiet back here in the extreme corner. Um, it's called a Tiger Adventure Vehicle. I've been over there uh, eating my sandwich and chips. That's a bear, a big bear skin rug with a head. I thought that was a dog watching me. A Montana, a load of firewood on a pickup, um, armor coated van. Paul Bunyan, Paul Bunyan's from Ohio, uh, and his brothers. There's a Pennsylvania Jeep, and we'll talk about YouTube because there's YouTubers that are here, uh, Morgans, and uh, I, I subscribed to Unstoppable Morgan for a little while. I noticed there's a Morgan Trail up here. There's a screaming baby. Some logging trucks up on a hill. Beautiful hills here. But this Morgan Trail goes like along the Ohio River and everything. Which I, I want to go on. Oh, check this out. He built this trailer someone did or she. Has the excursion. The awning. Just checking out some of the attendees rigs. The big hitches on there. Uh, a Benz. So, he's selling bicycles, I think. Trying to get away from that kid. Square body Ford. There was a square body Chevy. Uh, he has a soft sided trailer up there. The kid screaming like there's no tomorrow, wasn't he? The Prowler. They were shot on people and then they weren't letting us through here on the way over. Now they are again. So I don't know how they do. Yeah, I was parked clear back here. There's a Tiger RV. And I just moved up here because they've had 20 of these and I've never attended them. And before that, they were in Nelsonville. And I went to three of those with my dad. Here's Paul Bunyan's brother, Dale, over here in Old Washington, Ohio. He's got his logging. Oh, I can't think of the name of them ever. I, I don't even, you know, I've only heard. Yeah. Go back, guys. Yeah. Beautiful display of the moms and everything. So they fired this stuff up at noon for about two minutes. And uh, boom. Made those piles. It's small that goes around your house, and some of them chip. This one has a V8 Caterpillar, like the, the top of the line, biggest. Could even be V12. You know, I'd almost want to look easier. But he grabbed bunches of logs and put in this one. That is a V12. Big electronic engine there from Caterpillar. He's, uh, and they feed them with the excavators and see, I mean, this looks like half the size of this one. Look, look at the grapple he has on this thing. And when he was gone, a beautiful rubber uh, elevator. I already filmed this once. I just erased all my films. But this one has like four fingers on this side and three on the other. He was easily doing twice as much work as that one. In a couple minutes, and they shut them down. 
there were people lined up all the way across here. But yeah, I was, I was complaining about the Amish oh, because a lot of them are cool and they're into forestry, but they had their vaping pipes out. And man, there's a permanent scowl on their face. Men and women included in life. And uh, you're going to be tired of that after three days here because they come every day and they're in the business. Three days should cost 10 bucks to get in. If this was in trucking, it'd be a free show. So you can get certified in being an arborist. The stands are filling up. At one, I think there's a competition for Ohio. Paul Bunny a champion. And tomorrow it's national, international, which means the Canadian guys come. They come over from Belgium. Um, a couple other countries I'm not thinking of right away. And uh, they go to Canada, become citizens with free citizenship. And go into logging, and they, they come over here to beat the Americans. And that's what this is trying to get one up on the other. The V12. This guy has a V12 in this one. Nine hundred horsepower. Signs over here. Nine fifty. That, that engine's way too heavy to fit in any semi for over the road. The semi engine's half that size. Some really cool hydraulic stuff going on over here. I, I've, um, you know, I thought this was a big deal when I seen it, and then I seen these ones on the other end, and it makes this look like a toy, but that big hydraulic, it, it's sort of like a metal shredder. It uh, shreds metal in a junkyard, but for wood. This reminds me of the fun house at the fair. Getting rid of some of the trash. That's what it's about. Everybody has a different mouse trap. Cool trucks. A few good looking women. Beautiful wood. Eighteen horsepower model. A lot of these uh and the chipper trailers, walking for trailers. These are making shreds for uh, animal cages and bedding for horses. This is a three point hitch. And there's one on a smaller scale. They look almost like silage chippers. See, he's making shreds and then granular dust. Make sure my camera's going. Good. It's got a full blown band mill going there. Nice tents. This Jappa, he was running this. And these are three point hitch wood processors. So this is a separate power unit with a PTO shaft in the back with a Vanguard engine. So there could be a tractor setting here, which is all they have over here on a smaller scale. Like in the $50,000 range. And then it goes up from there, something like that. See, he just has his tractor hooked in the PTO shaft. They don't have any hydraulics hooked up, but the machine has all this hydraulics. There's even a radiator and oil cooler there. Sort of deceives the purpose, but for some reason. You wonder how this would operate in sub-zero temperatures even. But this is all hydraulically run. The pump's in there, and there's no hydraulic hookup here. It hooks up off the machine, almost like a machine in a metal shop, metal fab shop would have, for plastic injection molding. The different ends you can put on this guy, up the chute, and boom. Wood processor. Over here, these machines do more work in a few minutes than hundreds of men can do in days. Extreme deforesting machines over here for big, the big projects. This one here's the big daddy. It's 
some really cool videos of these guys just going through. They stop at nothing. These guys. Some Kabutas and Kamatsus. This is a CMI. And then that one being the big daddy. This one's uh, the sun. The world's biggest stump grinder. But that's one on a way smaller scale. It's called a hurricane. When the hurricane comes through, you hear the whistle blow. Over here at the Paul Bunny Show. Virginia County Fairground, Old Washington, Ohio. Bogart Rippy, thanks for watching.